The girls of Blackpink are in all your areas, and Tomorrow by Together is releasing new music. Gaga is dropping new album details as Kai Sinat gets curved. We go backstage with Kylie Minogue and talk to Sylvester Don Gone. It's Tuesday, March 26th, and welcome to Billboard News. There was so much happening yesterday, it feels impossible that it's just Tuesday. But the news doesn't stop, and this first one is fun. Tyler, would you like to go on a date with me? Are you asking for real? Yeah. Tyler hopped on Kai Sinnott's live stream, and it was hilariously cringe. Don't do that. <laughs> Let's break it down. Study my face. We all know Tyler is a work of art. I'll be your piece. And when she appeared on Kai Sinnott's live stream, Kai tried to shoot his shot. Whenever you get some free time, would you like to go on a date with me? You can't do that. On a whole live thing. Is anybody else uncomfortable? Yeah. Friend zone incoming. But we're friends though. You're right. Yeah, we're friends. You're right. Ooh, that you right. That gotta hurt. <laughs> I, uh, next one. But the live stream wasn't all cringe. She teaches Kai how to dance. Yeah. <laughs> you? Okay, yeah, like this. And Tyler plays What's in the Box. <laughs> Why is it hairy? Did you get secondhand embarrassment for Kai? Let us know in the comments. And for all things Tyler, head to Billboard.com. I can talk about Lisa from Blackpink forever, but I can do that about almost anybody in the genre. Here's three things to know in K-pop news. When a bond is there, it brings us closer. Jisoo is slaying in a brand new Cartier ad, and she's joined by other pop royalty. Jackson Wang also brings his amazing style. Other stars in the luxury ad include Yara Shahidi and Paul Mezcal. Holy hotness. Meanwhile, all this did was get me instantly thirsty for a collab. Jisoo Jackson, get it together. And her Blackpink sister Lisa is living her best life. The rap queen was spotted in several viral images at the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifier. She even held up a sign representing the Thailand versus Korea match. And this just made me think about Jungkook playing the World Cup and up, uh, Blackpink, get to work. And we love TXT over here, and they are just a few days away from April 1st and unveiling their upcoming sixth mini album, Miniso 3, tomorrow. We have the track list. Using Polaroid images, they tease songs like Deja Vu, Miracle, and The Killer, I Belong to You. The Killer? Y'all about to kill me! I can't wait for this project. And before we're done with the news for today, we have one last headline we must discuss. We can't wait for LG7, and while we're waiting, we'll just play with our blush and patiently wait. <laughs> Lady Gaga gave an update on her next album. Here's what fans can expect. I'm, I'm working as fast as I can. Lady Gaga let Nikki Tutorials know on Sephora Live that LG7 is on the way. I will say that I'm feeling deeply inspired right now, and I'm Good. so excited for everything that I have to show all the fans. Gaga's been sharing pics and videos of herself in studio on her IG, so we've known new music is on the way. But now we've heard it straight from her mouth. I'm deeply grateful for everybody's excitement and my creativity. Her last album, Chromatica, debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 and featured Rain On Me with Ariana Grande, which topped the Hot 100. So the LG7 excitement is real. We know Gaga's Harley Quinn is on the way in Joker 2, but fans are thinking we may hear from Gaga sooner than that. Little Monsters pointed out that Gaga shared this on IG with a cover referencing Telephone, while one of Beyonce's hairstylists shared a still from the Telephone music video on their IG. Could Telephone Part 2 be on the way? Cowboy Carter drops this Friday, and Little Monsters and Beehive are anxious. And our very own Layla Kobo knows everyone in Latin music, and she got to chat with Sylvester Dongon. Check it out. Eso, eso me pasó después que terminé de hacer la novela de Leandro Díaz. Mm -hmm. Yo no sé qué me pasó. Eh, el personaje, el personaje me, 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 me. te consumió. Me consumió tanto y digitaba como un descanso porque yo me le entregué al personaje de lunes a sábado. Yo duré nueve meses en eso. Nueve meses. Wow. 
nueve meses siendo Leandro Díaz, siendo ciego, sintiendo, escuchando, personificando un fenómeno de la naturaleza como lo fue Leandro. Y termino de hacer la novela un, un octubre y, y le digo al equipo, yo no, yo no puedo más, no puedo, necesito, necesito parar, necesito parar, necesito parar, esto, esto me consumió de tal manera que paré, pero me, me cayó bien el, el receso porque eh, primero me dediqué tiempo a, a, a mí como tal, como silvestre, a, a mis hijos, mi esposa y a la música, porque regresé con un álbum que en este momento está metido en el corazón de todo el mundo. The full interview is over on our YouTube. Hi, I'm Connie Minogue, and here are five things you did not know about me. Thinking now, okay, one, I recorded Padam Padam in my hotel room. Two, Love at First Sight was first dismissed and it ended up being a really big song of mine. Uh, not by me, <laughs> by, by my label. My first single, Locomotion, was recorded as a demo. I didn't have a, I wasn't signed to anyone. So if that hadn't gone to, to become a, a release, I would not be here chatting with you today. Fourth thing you don't know about me, I can't wait to get my heels off. <laughs> But you may have guessed that. Fifth thing, uh, coffee is one of my favorite things. And those are five things you didn't know about me. And I didn't intend to tell anyone. No, that's all right, I could share them. <laughs> I always love those backstage moments from women in music. Come back tomorrow for my hilarious interview with that Mexican OT. Running it down for you always, I'm Tetris Kelly, and this is Billboard News.